right guys, today I am out in Cuyahoga Falls. I just had to traverse all this road crap out here. But right in front of me, I am looking at an abandoned Eaton Park restaurant. Look at this. The signs are what really caught my eye because obviously they're gone. <laughs> Look at that. The signs are gone and this place likes to put signs all over the restaurant. Cool thing I noticed as soon as I got out of the car and walked over here though, Here's part of one of the signs right here. Like the frame just laying in the parking lot. This is the old sign that was out front. It looks like somebody tried their best. Oh, I guess not. <laughs> I guess that's just electricity, electrical work in there. It looked to me like somebody tried to do a little bit of graffiti and like seriously failed. But anyways, yeah, here's the building right here. Let's take a walk around it. I have never personally eaten in an Eaton Park, but I like the way this place looks. I like these big bay windows out here. That's where one of the... Look at this. Here's the frame of this sign just hanging here. I don't know how long this place has been closed, but that just fell off and is just hanging there. This would have been the front doors up here, obviously. What is this? I thought it was maybe another sign, but crap. You can barely see anything in there besides the reflection of me waving. I can see a little bit better in there than what you can on the camera. But not very much. Big empty parking lot, once of which was full. There's the front of the building, not even a flag up there. You can hear the the flag court banging against the flagpole. But that's it for the Eaton Park. Let's go around the side here, see if we can see in some of these bay windows. I think we just might be able to. Take a peek. Eh, a little bit. Not the greatest, but there we go, we can see a little bit into the the dining room, I guess, there in the little lobby in the front. The glass cases that I'm assuming would have had some kind of pastries or something. That's usually what's in those, you know, cookies and some kind of pastries and that. If any of you have ever been to an Eaton Park, let me know. Maybe you can tell me if that's right, if they had the pastries or whatever. Nothing down there, but look, we got the open 24-7 sign up still. But this one is gone. Kind of anxious to come around here and see what's in the trash area. I love to come back and explore the trash because you just never know. You might find a cool sign or or nothing. <laughs> I mean, there's like basically nothing back here. Just obviously trash. I remember when I found one of these before. Look, that's part of a sign. I found one of these before and I thought it was a safe and it's actually a giant rat trap. Okay. That's it for the side. Oh, here's the drive through right here. Oh, look, we got the smileys up still. That's cool. I didn't notice that when I pulled in here. Thanks, keep on smiling. Now you can see a little bit in there. Yeah, just a little bit. That's kind of strange. That's not what I expected to see going right inside the drive through window there. But... Here's another bay window. Let's try to pay, take a peek in here. Yeah, you can see a little bit better in there. That's, that's really good. You can see in there. All those trays stacked up in there. I wonder how long this place has been closed. Hmm. Let's work our way around the side here again. There's another sign or former sign. Yeah, you can see a little bit of the dining room in there. Going down to this one here. 
when it, yeah, look, parts of the sign just lay in here. Huh, that's kind of amazing. Here you can see a little bit in there. That's pretty cool. All right, somebody who used to go to this restaurant or is familiar, tell me what they would put in this area right here. Something decorative, I'm sure. That's pretty cool. I'm glad I decided to come out here today. I wouldn't have got to see that. I decided to come out on a whim because I remember there used to be a Toys R Us out here. And uh, you guys may have already seen that video. I don't know when I'll get these up, but um, that one is now an Ollie's Bargain outlet. So I took a walk through there to see if we could see any, any Toys R Us-esque Toys R Us -esque things left in there. So, all right. I'm gonna hit the road. Maybe I'll find something else cool while I'm out here. Mm -hmm.